What's going on, guys? I'm back here with the Hyper Go again. Um, I know it's been quite a few videos with this, but uh, I just wanted to show that I did change the transmitter, and this is a, a this changes everything. Uh, the weird delay that it had, and the you know when you try juicing it up, it had a delay in it. So from backwards to forward, it, it just had it had a delay. Um, Another thing that was bad on this was that it had horrible churning. So when you would churn, it was right away real jumpy. So because of that, it made uh, speeding and trying to adjust your car kind of difficult because it it the the transmitter was just pushing the wheels just too fast. It wasn't. It's not the actual car itself. Um, after I did that, it totally changed everything, and I even got a whole lot more steering throw. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. So let's take this, let's take this off here, and I'll go ahead and slide this here, and you guys can see there's the new one. So here's the new trans. I mean, uh, receiver. The only thing I need is some sort of adapter so that I can um, turn it off from here with this switch here because it didn't work when I tried it, it didn't work. So I guess I need some sort of like little switch that, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll just disconnect the light or I'll put a switch on it myself. I'll just cut through the wires here and put a little switch, but even that's not necessary. So I got it in there, fits in there pretty good. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. But it did fit really good. So I got it in there. Uh, excuse the cat hair, guys. I know that's gross, but all these damn cats here. So I got it all connected, and I checked it out, and man, was it a huge difference. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in real quick. Okay. And uh, turn on my transmitter here. And then the car. Okay. And now look at the churning now. So I'm going to turn this this way. Yeah, that's that very bright light, guys. I told you that that light is just extremely bright. Um, so here it is now. So we'll check out the churning. Before, this is what the churning would do. Like, it was just real fast. And it wasn't very much. It was probably like, like around this much here. Maybe just a tad more. Like that much. And uh, I have the dual rate around the middle here. See it? But then if I move the dual rate like almost to the end, but then bring it up a little. Now look at all the steering throw I have now. So it gives me a whole lot more steering throw, and it's not as jittery. And also, like I said, uh, I lost the, the lag in it, so it had a lag to it. And that right there was okay. It didn't bother me as much. It really didn't. It didn't bother me that much at all. But the turning radius was just horrible, and it's because, look at this. Wow. Let me fix that. All right, sorry about that, guys. But before it had a lag to it, and uh, like I was about to show you, see this? That is literally all the steering I have. That's it, just that little bit. So that right there just really sucks a lot. And like I said, it had some sort of lag in it, but I guess it's it's okay. But not for this RC, not not for this one, no. Like maybe some cheap brush card, you can go ahead and use this and get away with it. But nah, not brushless, no. Not 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 the brushless power that they put into this. You know, that's a like I said, that's a decent ESC, and uh, now I have a better receiver, so it's just better. All overall, it's just better to have this instead of the other one. 
so you get a lot more nice steering so the steering's not all rough anymore it's not like just super rough it's perfect now and you get a lot more steering throw like I said you get a lot more and there's no more weird lag in it so let me go ahead and pick this up and uh, see before when I wanted to like you know, just mess around and then, like, you know, do this to it. You couldn't really do that because of the lag. So as soon as you would press it, it would go. And then, like, it would, like, go slowly and then jump into speed. And then if you, like, stopped out a dead stop and tried going, um, it took time. You know, it was a lag. And then if you let it go while you're playing, it, it's a lag again. So... It's not that bad, I guess, if you're not going to destroy your differentials and whatever else that is plastic in there. Because I'm almost certain it doesn't have a uh, metal spur because it would sound louder. So I guess it's to save those parts. Here was our, our old receiver. Was this. And this is not a bad receiver. It's really nice. It's, it's okay. But not for this car. But... Like I said, uh, this is a game changer now. It works a whole lot better. It doesn't have that weird lag anymore. And I got a lot more steering throw. And the steering isn't all uh, jittery and fast. It's now normal. So I definitely recommend something like this. You can get any different transmitter on there. Do it. And it will make a huge difference on the car. And... Um, I will leave a link to this one. Plus, I got, like, different options here. So, I can put it on low, medium, and high. So, I can put it on low. And then medium, you get it, you know. So, that way kids can have fun, too, you know. So, it's, it's really a nice transmitter. Really good. Feels a whole lot better and balanced um the head feels a little heavy and the batteries make it feel even more heavy so it feels quality it feels like a quality transmitter but uh like i was saying this changes it a lot so if you're tired of the weird lag on this and also the horrible steering throw then uh you need to change your transmitter and that will make this car just that much better you know so it's really, really good now. I'm not going to waste any more time, guys. But there it is. It's in there. It fits in there pretty good. And uh, it works great. So that's pretty much the end of this one, guys. I will be back. Like I said, I have other things coming here. I want to open up uh, another RC. And I like I told you guys before I have a drone too and uh, didn't really tell you that but this this here tells you how much juice you have in your battery here so the green and this one this color here I guess it has red orange and something else but it's supposed to tell you when your batteries are getting low in the transmitter so that's pretty good too but uh, I just couldn't get that to work I couldn't get the light to turn on you know so I guess I need like this little adapter, but I'm not going to get that. There's not even no room for it. So. so that's pretty much the end of this one. I will leave a link just in case you want to check this one out. It will cost a little more. If you're ordering it from Amazon, I think it's an extra $10. Um, free shipping, but $10. So it's a little more pricey, but at least if it doesn't work, and trust me, they, they come broken. They come broken from China. I've seen it on uh, on YouTube. They come broken. So if you have better luck ordering from China, like when you order things and nothing comes broken or messed up, then you can order it from there. But if you don't, you want hassle-free, just get it on Amazon and get the 10 extra bucks. 
So that way, if something goes bad with it within a certain amount of time, I think they give you like 30 days or 15 days. And if anything goes bad, you could just return it. So that's pretty cool. You know, it's hassle free and uh, uh, peace of mind. But that's the end of this one, guys. So I will be back with other products soon. And uh, that drone, I want to get that drone out. So, and, yo, yeah, I forgot too. We're going to do another giveaway. I have some more stuff to give away. I kind of been lagging it. Sorry, guys. But uh, I'm going to do a giveaway probably by the end of this week. And we'll leave it up till till uh, Monday or Tuesday because I know I have some doctor's appointments on Monday. But I want to do another giveaway, so I'll be making that video soon too. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and stay tuned.